Once we've identified the important parts of our application to accelerate, the next step is to parallelize. In this step, we will add OpenACC to the important loops in the form of pragmas in C and C++ or directives in Fortran. For instance, I can accelerate the loop you see here by adding the ACC parallel loop pragma before the loop. The ACC parallel loop pragma we just added informs the compiler that it should create parallelism for me, specifically groups of parallel threads that OpenACC refers to as gangs, and then distribute the iterations of this loop to those gangs to execute in parallel. I don't have to tell the compiler how to divide the loop iterations, the compiler will figure that out for me based on what it knows about my target machine. The compiler will probably choose a different way to parallelize the loop if I'm targeting a GPU than it would if I'm targeting a multi-core CPU, for instance. In this case, I also need to inform the compiler that all loop iterations are adding their values into the sum variable. When done in parallel, this operation is known as a reduction because I'm reducing all values calculated by this loop down to just one, the sum. To do this, I'll add a reduction clause like you see here. Failing to inform the compiler about operations like these, where all threads are calculating into the same variable using something like a sum, minimum, maximum, etc., may result in incorrect code when run in parallel. So be sure to look for this pattern. Also, it's important to know that when dealing with floating point numbers, parallel reductions can produce a slightly different answer, since the order of operations will most likely change. Now we need to use an OpenACC compiler, such as the PGI Community Edition, to build the code for our accelerator. The compiler will use the pragmas that we inserted and its knowledge of the GPU to build an efficient and parallel code for me. Here I've added the dash TA, or target accelerator, flag to the compiler and ask the compiler to build for an NVIDIA Tesla GPU. I can see from the compiler output here that the compiler determined it could parallelize my loop and that it generated code for a Tesla GPU as I requested. I can even see that the compiler has handled moving data to and from the GPU for me. Finally, I just need to rerun my executable and reap the benefits of OpenACC. Since I built this code to run on an NVIDIA Tesla GPU, it will run on a GPU if there's one in my system, or fall back to the CPU if there is not. By changing my target accelerator flag to multi-core instead of Tesla, I can even run this same code across all CPU cores on my machine without making any changes. Remember, the more code you parallelize, the more you'll be able to accelerate your science.